one. Hello, Saturday morning again, and it's raining. Might have stopped actually. Um, okay, so this is your my Saturday wrap for Saturday the twentieth of February, twenty twenty one. Time eleven eighteen. Zulu still very much winterish. Anyway, beer of the day. Crash from the Salt Brewery from Tesco's. I have to be honest, Tesco's is a uh, medium-sized Tesco's. They do a really good range. The only thing I would say is change it around a bit. That's what people who, well, people like me, who like their craft beer want. They want to try different craft beers. They want to experiment. Um, but you can't really if you just stock the same thing over and over again. Short batches, please. Anyway, the word or phrase of the week is a change in the weather. And most of my stuff relates to the weather. Um, uh, Sunday, the beast from the east, the mini beast from the east, slowly started to disappear. The snow, which had accumulated during the day on Saturday and then it rained upon, was gone. However, it was still chilly, and it was still chilly into Monday. Um, my summer onions, which were planted back in the autumn, stroke fall. Uh, some of them didn't germinate. Uh, this happens. So I was going to plant a couple that I had left over. I didn't have a dibber, so it was finger in the soil. And about an inch down, it was still frozen. A lot of rain overnight on Tuesday and Wednesday, and Wednesday I planted them. Thursday, Thursday was like spring. It was mostly dry, it was sunny, it was warm in the sun, although the wind was a bit chilly. And Friday into Saturday, depending on where you are, I'm currently in the lower Rumney Valley, we have a yellow rain warning up around Merthyr Way and out to the west, amber rain warning. Uh, I've seen a picture on Twitter of the two bridges in Ponty earlier on today. The river is very high. Luckily, it seems to have stopped for the moment, but you can't trust the weather. Um, apparently, according to a severe-weather.eu, we've got rid of the winter. It's not going to get as cold from now on. It's going to get warmer. Who knows about the rain? I, well, next week could be dryish. I might be digging the garden towards the end of it. At the moment, I fear that I would end up in a big pile of mud. These things happen. Anyway, so what else happened this week? Uh, apart from uh, lots of weather. Um... I started watching Band of Brothers again. I'd already finished the Pacific. Band of Brothers is slightly better. And uh, the captain paid by David Swimmer. Apparently he died last week. And no one went to his funeral. Life isn't always the way you'd like it to be. Anyway, um, it is excellent. Um, sitting on the Plex server, I forgot to rip the last two episodes, so I've done that. And tomorrow afternoon, I will be continuing with it. I may recommend the app Infuse. If you've got a Plex server and an Apple TV or such like, uh, they are the combination. Actually, it works on an iPhone and iPad as well. And I kind of love it, um, although it's going to need to be renewed beginning of March. Nine quid a year, that's not that bad. I don't mind paying that. <laughs> okay, um, a colleague on the MeWees, a, uh, a, I like her of Fine Ales, who posts many excellent reviews of Fine Ales, said that I looked a bit downbeat last week. I didn't feel it. Although, 
let's be quite honest the weather the weather didn't encourage being happy and whatever so i might have come over as downbeat i could also come over as downbeat now i am not i am planning emergency beanos although with that nice mr drakeford in charge and him not having a care in the world about the hospitality industry i don't think pubs in wales are going to be opening any time soon however as with last year as soon as we are allowed to travel i think england will be back open again i will be across that border too sweet obviously spending money in england not in wales but then again mr drakeford doesn't really care about our hospital oh yeah um easter uh, bed and breakfasts or caravans mm. okay there you go anyway as i said my uh, onions got replanted and then it rained a lot and a lot so they are well watered in and some of them had already had um the green shoots i hope they grow well i hope it gets warm to be perfectly honest but there you go so one of the things i was looking forward to in february was series two of for all mankind um, last April, uh, Apple made free some of their original series on Apple TV+. Plus. One of them was For All Mankind. It's an alternative history of the space race. Um, spoiler alert, the Russians get to the moon first. It's excellent. I really enjoyed it. And this Friday, yesterday series two started so on thursday night i re-watched the series finale episode 10 of series one it's a bit of a tearjerker and at the same time i remembered i think it was easter monday it was certainly an afternoon um it could have been a sunday i'm not altogether sure i was watching it and i got a phone call to say that Tony had passed away. So it's important for me in lots of different ways. And as I think I've already mentioned, um, I've got a free year of it. Uh, it came with 14.4. Usually you have to buy new hardware to get it. Um, and it's out by, well, it's out by eight o'clock on a Friday morning. So next Friday, episode two. The only thing I would say was it ended on a cliffhanger. I wish it had gone on for a little longer. It was really good. It's not just science fiction. It's people. It's interactions. There's a bit of music in it as well. And there's a whole new and different politics to the 1980s. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Flood warnings. We have flood warnings. Oh, um, anyway, um, Gloucester Brewery glass, a fine ale, um, I haven't put this down, but well drawn a brewing co will have a well drawn, a dr I can't even say it, well drawn burger co at the beginning of March. Local beef, uh, not local bread, um, I really want to go there. I really want to go there when their tap room is open. I could walk there. I have walked there. And I'm already beginning to babble. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. Comments, Twitter, Facebook, MeWe, WordPress, YouTube even. And to those who've had their teeth done this week and had injections, that's off. So, um, I've got to find the stop button. Ah, there we are. Goodbye.